Sports. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. On the sidelines, Allie LaForce. And here we can check out the story for Markel Fultz. And currently, he's in the zone. A tremendous feel for the game. His assist numbers these past five games look a lot different from the rest of the season. And by different, I mean better. And the starting lineup for the Magic. Fultz and Suggs are the backcourt. Ben Carroll plays the four with Carter Jr. at center. And it's Isaac in at the three. And for the Nuggets, Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. On the perimeter, KCP and Porter Jr. And it's Murray in at the one spot. Pretty interesting backcourt matchup here, Grant, with a lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? Here we go. So the Nuggets with the tip. It's in there. You know, when Murray finishes like this, guys, it shows you how aggressive his mindset is in attacking the defense. And Carroll with a screen on Murray. Pass to Suggs. Fires for three. Knocks down the triple. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. And it's Murray with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. To the left wing. Jokic against Carter. Jokic passes to Caldwell Pope. And we're going to have a jump ball. And so here is Denver. Just five on the clock. And there's Murray. That one's good. On the assist by Gordon. Boy, I like how Gordon dishes the ball. When his teammates are open, he finds them on time and on target. First quarter, just over a minute play. Here's Suggs. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. Suggs, the pass to Isaac. And Carroll with it. The three is up. And again, it's Orlando with a three. Check out that quickness with the hands, man. Carroll bringing that to the floor tonight. And here are the Nuggets now. Murray deciding where to go with it. Here's Jokic. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. You know, we hear the term point forward a lot. Clark, is it fair to call Nikola Jokic a point center? I don't have any issues with the B.A. I mean, he facilitates as a big guy with the ball in his hands Take like break. a guard at times. So point center works, but he's more than that. He's your two-time MVP is what he is. The free throw drops for Jokic. Grant, it's fair to say this Magic team is still coming into its own as far as the youth on the roster. Yeah, not a lot of NBA service time up and down the roster, but tons and tons of talent. I mean, they've done very well constructing the roster. Now to develop it, and they'll see the wins pile up. That one misses. And when you watch this Nuggets team, Clark, their chemistry on the court is obvious. Yeah, B.A., the pieces just fit, and fit quite nicely. Give a lot of credit to the front office. Doing a good job drafting and then finding the right veterans to complement who they already had. Now here's Fultz coming off a solid outing against Sacramento. Now here's Murray. Gordon on the wing. And 
stolen by Bancaro. Here's Isaac. The shot is good. Fultz making the play. Fultz has got three assists tonight. And the offense, I mean, three or four, a solid start for this game. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Baseline, baseline. Fultz against Murray. Pass to Jokic. The rebound by Carter. Orlando's gone two for three from outside the arc. Here's Suggs. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on Contavious Caldwell-Pope. Really good aggressive take from Suggs, giving the defense no choice but to foul him there. In the early stretch of his career, Clark, Jalen Suggs has had a tough go of it. Yeah, you know, injuries are an ugly part of the game, B.A., and he's had to overcome quite a bit here early in his career. Such a promising young talent. But I do believe when you look at the long road in front of him that he's going to show you how special a player he is. That free throw, no good. And this is something Suggs does not shy away from. Wanting to get to the line in these clutch moments. On the second one we're about halfway through the regular season here grant we've had some surprising teams and players yeah you know every season we have at least one team that exceeds expectations and one that kind of lets us all down but what i love the most is seeing breakout players that take this league by storm murray doing whatever it takes to find the shot dynamic play from jamal pass to ben carroll Holt's a screen on Gordon. Van Carroll drives. Oh, Van Carroll throws it down. There's the speed. Van Carroll has it, but doesn't always show it. That time he did. Jokic with a screen on Fultz. Murray from outside. On target from range. Murray's got nine. Woo, he's piping hot. Four for four from the field. No one can guard him out there. Certainly looks that way to me, partner. I mean, his energy level is ramped up. I think he's been terrific right from the opening tip. And it's Jokic with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. They trail by one. Their last encounter in Orlando. Well, they were able to handle the magic. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. But they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Well, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road. And that's exactly what they showed last game. So it's Orlando now. After the Nuggets picked up a basket just a moment ago. And Carroll passes to Carter. The layup misses. A rare miss for him at point-blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Pass to Gordon. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Jokic with it. Hounded by Fultz. Jokic gets the bucket. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player, is Caldwell Pope. Love seeing that. The Magic have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Fultz passes to Suggs, and Carroll with it. Shot to stop the run. Suggs, no good. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. Damn, that one's good. 11 points in the game. Elite vision from Jokic. Knows exactly where his teammates are at all times. And recognizes the defense, too. And here are the Magic now. It's a five-point game. They put up a nice win against Sacramento last time out. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. Well, it's really hard to stop them when they're in a groove offensively. And they were in a comfort zone all game long in that one. Ooh, stolen by Fultz. To the middle. Fade away. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. 
you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Orlando calls timeout. month these are the highest scoring teams in the NBA fourth the Nuggets this team has really found a great offensive rhythm lately running smart plays sharing the ball and racking up points Orlando trailing here. And here's Fultz. No points so far. Poke loose. Porter with the steal. Fast break. Here come the Nuggets. Jokic in the post. He's checked by Carter. Kept alive. Murray from outside. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Now here's Ben Carroll. He's another guy who had a great performance in that win against Sacramento. Outside Fultz, just five to shoot. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, I like the way Fultz attacks with confidence. He's excellent at making the defense commit. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Denver. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys? Lots of points in the paint. Something to continue to keep our eye on. down the first one well so much length and versatility on this magic roster Clark and you know those are two things every team would like to have Brian the first step of a rebuild is accumulating talent they've got some of that now it's about coalescing that talent into a winning group that's also good so he hits both free throws after a slow start to his career, Clark, it seems Markel Fultz has found his comfort zone. And, you know, B.A., it's really good to see because he really struggled early with that frozen shoulder injury he had and lost a lot of confidence. A former number one overall pick, that brings a lot of pressure and expectations. Man, I tell you, this young man has weathered a lot and has come out on the other side in good fashion. Great to see. Here's Van Carroll following the score by Denver. Inside. And Carter gets it to go on the assist from Bancaro. Just a real solid understanding of how to exploit the defense. Carter Jr. impressive at positioning himself in these situations. Denver in the lead. Outside, Caldwell Pope. On the wing, Murray. Porter from outside. Rebound by the Magic. Here's Suggs. He had 16 in the win against the Kings in Sacramento. He didn't make it all about himself. His passing was sharp, and he kept everyone involved. Man, I like the deep ball of Isaac there, man. Has good touch for a big fella, and he shoots it with confidence. Now here's Murray. A 20-point game for him in the win against the Warriors in San Francisco. Here's Gordon. That one rolls around and rims out. When you're wide open like that, no need to fade away. Fultz passes to Suggs. Now here's Carter, covered by Jokic. Carter, a screen on Porter. And Carroll drives. And the layup is good off the glass. And now just a three-point nugget lead. Nice strength on that take. Van Carroll proving he's excellent at scoring through contact. 
Denver has gone two for three from outside the arc. Murray against Fultz. Gordon outside. Jokic passes to Gordon. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. The Nuggets need to get one up. Here's Jokic. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Fultz passes to Suggs. And Carroll against Gordon. Suggs. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. To me, one of the things that separates Van Carroll from others is his passing. And here's Denver. Gordon with a screen on Fultz. Murray for three. Here's Jokic. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Jokic has got his third bucket of the night. Orlando has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Fultz passes to Isaac. And here's Ben Caro. Into the lane. Great D that time from Jokic. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And um, they look strong here in the early going. Now here's Jokic. Had a career game his last time out. Bucket after bucket. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And he's a strong man. Isaac, so physical, getting to the bucket. Here's Murray. Gordon with a screen on Fultz. Pass to Gordon. Now Caldwell Pope to the wing, right side. Jokic with it. Seven points in the game. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Wendell Carter. Well, I love how crafty Jokic is. You know, he basically baits defenders into committing the foul once he gets deep position. Shoot two. one falls for him and finally getting to full strength last season the Nuggets showing how great they can be Grant well the franchise's first ever championship BA and you look at all their top players just entering their primes plenty of runway left ahead of them and the magic making a change here Wagner's checked in for Carter Ingles comes in for Isaac Harris is checked in for Suggs and Cole Anthony subbed in for Fultz you know, what makes Jokic truly exceptional in my mind is the versatility. You know, he's a really good passer, and that to me is a tremendous distinction, not to mention how he scores and does the other stuff he does out there. Two points. That one goes. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Denver has gone two of five from deep. Watson passes to Jackson. Jokic with a screen on Anthony. Jackson for three. Orlando grabs the miss. Ben Carroll's got four rebounds in the game. And so Anthony will bring it up for the Orlando Magic. They trail by one. Pass to Harris. Now here's Wagner. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Magic lead by one. And so far, they've had the advantage on the boards. Yeah, nothing major. Not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. Here's Najee. Still without a bucket. Jackson for three. It's rebounded by Van Carroll. Van Carroll's got rebound number five here tonight. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And Carroll with a screen on Jackson. And Anthony slams it in. Anthony going up top. Don't let his size fool you, folks. Cole's got some hops. Jackson, the pass to Najee. 
The open shot. Jokic. A good looking shot from the wing. Jokic has got 11 points. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. So, at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. It's the Magic, up by one. Quarter number two, coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Orlando. To me, it's been the ball movement. That's been the key. I mean, going from good to great. Not settling for a good shot, making that extra pass, keeping the defense off balance, and taking great shots. And not only that, they're off to a pretty hot start shooting from outside. They seem locked in tonight. Orlando's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. On the court for Orlando, we've got Paolo Bancaro, Gary Harris out there with Cole Anthony. Then there's Mo Wagner, and it's Ingles in at the small forward position. Out to Harris. From downtown, count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. Really a smooth stroke from Harris on the catch-and-shoot jumper right there. And I'll tell you what, he makes it look easier than it really is. Shoots a fadeaway. And again, it's Denver converting. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Orlando has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Jackson against Anthony. The three from Ben Carroll. And again, it's Orlando with a three. They're shooting nearly 50% from beyond the arc, and their confidence is growing. Jokic with a screen on Anthony. Here's Jackson. Here's Najee. Drops in the layup for two. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Anthony, the pass to Ben Carroll. Ben Carroll takes it. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Ben Carroll's got five points now this quarter. Very few can go mono Imano with Bancaro inside. He got the best of the defender this time. Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. Jackson surveying the D. And it's Jokic missing. Orlando's gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. And talk about a star from day one, Clark. Paolo Bancaro. You know, B.A., I love this kid's game. He's got great confidence, terrific body. He's relentless, plays with a lot of energy. And offensively, there's not much he can't do. I mean, he rebounds, he competes on defense. Boy, I like a lot about this young man's game. That's how you stay connected to a shooter. Was right in his jersey. Watson passes to Jackson. Fires in the triple. Jackson's got himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Anthony against Jackson. It's tipped. Three on three. Jokic passes to Jackson. Here's Watson. Here's Najee. Averaging around five points a game. No stopping Jokic in the paint. Jokic being a problem for the defense. 
strong even against physical contact. Jackson against Anthony. Here's Ingles. Oh, Jokic with the block. And he recovers it. Second shot opportunity. Ingles, good. Well, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. Timeout, now timeout. a timeout called by Denver. Grant, you had a terrific mid-range game. It feels like more players are going back to that now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, B.A. The analytics say dunks and three-pointers. But that makes your offense almost just two-dimensional. In many cases, too predictable. You're seeing more and more players, particularly the elite ones, finding comfort in the mid-range. For the Nuggets, Gordon, he's checked in for Najee. And Caldwell Pope is subbed in for Watson. Isaac, he's checked in for Orlando. Suggs comes in for Harris. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Pass to Jackson. Back to Jokic. The shake. It's hauled in by Isaac. The Magic have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Let's go with a three. Can't get it. Now three of four. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Screen by Gordon. Jackson, the pass to Gordon. Jackson outside. Pass to Gordon. Shot clock at six. It's hauled in by Isaac. Orlando leading. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. The Nuggets have some flat-out scorers on their roster, but head coach Mike Malone said the way we play is pass is king. The ball moves around and everybody benefits. And Brian, it sure helps when your best player, Nikola Jokic, is setting the tone with his incredible court vision. No doubt about that, Allie. Thanks for that. Unlike a lot of drafts, Grant, there wasn't a clear first overall pick in 2022 for the Magic. Yeah, but I do think they nailed it, taking Paolo Bancaro, a 6'10 playmaker, Van Carroll was Rookie of the Year, and he's certainly a player you can build around. Free throw good, Wagner. And what separates the Nuggets on offense is their efficiency, Clark. You're right on it, B.A. You rarely see them take bad shots. I mean, they are a well-oiled offensive machine, adamant about getting quality shots on a consistent basis. And both free throws good for Wagner. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Jackson against Anthony. Jackson, the pass to Gordon. And here's Caldwell Pope. Now Jokic. He's got 15 over Wagner. Tries again. It's hauled in by Isaac. Isaac's got four rebounds in the game. It's Suggs with a drive. Oh, and a beautiful crossover there. Suggs has got eight points. You know, on the drive, Suggs can be a bit unpredictable, which keeps him, I think, a step ahead of the defense. You don't want him knowing exactly what you're going to do. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Jokic passes to Jackson. Jokic with a screen on Anthony. Jackson against Anthony. Pass to Gordon. Jackson with a screen on Isaac for three. Gordon gets it to drop. Now two of four. Well, you can't let Gordon have room from outside. I mean, he's more than capable of knocking down those perimeter shots. Anthony feeling it out a bit. Now Wagner. Over Jokic. And that one's long. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And Jackson's speed and basketball IQ really stand out. 
an experienced veteran with a versatile skill set. Michael Porter, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Jamal Murray comes in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Porter with the ball for the Nuggets. They host the Pistons after this one. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. Back to Murray. Fires from deep. And it's Orlando with a rebound. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Murray against Anthony. Pass to Wagner. Porter with the steal. And it's Cole Anthony with a foul. That's his first foul of the game. Caldwell Pope's checked in for the Nuggets. Here's Murray. 14 points for him. Jokic the screen. And again, Denver no good. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. And out of bounds. Out of bounds. Denver will have it. And the three-point contest is one of the highlights of All-Star Weekend. Here are some of the contenders who have a shot to compete in the event. And perhaps that list changes a little between now and All-Star Weekend. But I would have no problems if those guys end up competing. Well, you look at Caldwell Pope. He's right on the cusp of securing his spot in the three-point contest. So I hope those votes keep pouring in because he's a guy you'd love to see in the mix. Yeah, if he can make it in the door, you know he will do everything he can to win the whole thing. And it'll be a lot of fun to watch. And as we continue to count the votes, we'll update you on any changes to the list. No matter who is in it, though, it's going to be fun. Maybe this is the year we see a perfect score. Who knows? I'll be sure to be locked in on all of All-Star Weekend, especially the three-point contest. Isaac against Gordon. Isaac in the post. Good work defensively by Gordon. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Gordon with it. Outside Murray. Ingles against Jokic. Six to shoot. From the arc. The rebound by Carter. Orlando's gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Suggs. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. All right, a chance to check out the Orlando Magic's upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll be playing against Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. And then on Tuesday, they'll be taking on Rudy Gobert and the Minnesota Timberwolves. One way you could look at this difficult stretch against some of the best in the league, it's a tremendous chance to prove to the league just how good your team is. It could provide a huge statement. The first free throw is good. And they've capitalized well from the free throw line. Their percentage is impressive. Naji, he's checked in for Jokic. one and misses one at the line. The Nuggets trail. Outside Murray. Gordon down low. Carter's there. Rebound by the Magic. Carter's got four rebounds now. Well, Clark, after seven seasons as the guy in Orlando, Aaron Gordon is embracing a new role. Well, you know, he's become more efficient. He's taking fewer shots. He's shooting at a much higher percentage especially from deep. But the thing that really stands out for me is Gordon has embraced and relished being a defender doing the dirty work. And with his athleticism and size, he's a formidable defender because of that. And he drops a first. Grant, when teams come to play the Denver Nuggets, it's not just another regular game in a normal city. Yeah, I mean, the altitude of the mile-high city is an adjustment for many players, B.A. Even if some guys say it doesn't affect them, don't let them fool you. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. Trust me, I know. 
Both free throws good from Isaac. Well, this guy packs a nice skill set, Jonathan Isaac. A slender big man who has nice range and is a superb defender already. Gordon outside. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. And check out the NBA's top three-point shooters over the course of the past month. Number five is Aaron Gordon. Sometimes you get into a rhythm from long range, and you can ride that stretch for a while. The Magic have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Now here's Fultz. Right now contributing around 10.5 points a game. Carter finds Fultz. Back to Carter. Here's Suggs. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. Suggs, no good. Well, we talk about the value of great rim protection. That's a shot he typically makes. And there's the lob. Gordon can't hit. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. And another miss by Orlando. Denver has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Down low. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Orlando leading. Here's Suggs. He's got nine. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Suggs has got five points now in the quarter. And here's Murray. To the paint. Here's Gordon. Oh, rejected by Isaac. What a wingspan Isaac has. I mean, this guy is incredible at denying shots. And he loves to do it. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. So it's Denver now. Seven point differential. Pass to Najee. Now here's Porter. Shoots over Ingles. Porter gets the bucket. It really comes easily for Porter Jr. scoring the basketball. His jumper is almost textbook perfect. For Orlando, they've gotten 7 of 16 shots to go in the second. Isaac outside. The shot is good. Fultz making the play. Fultz has got 5 assists in the game. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Porter against Ingles. Najee passes to Murray. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Murray's got 16 points. This is one of those nights where Murray was just determined to take over, and he's carried through with that determination. And Orlando shooting a solid 53% from the floor. Murray against Fultz. Pass to Isaac. Carter with it. Gordon pulls it in. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Gordon with a screen on Fultz. Murray passes to Gordon. Outside Murray. And here's Gordon. He's checked by Carter. Shot is good by Gordon. So good to see Murray, not just as a scorer, but thriving as a passer, too. 44 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Suggs. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. Suggs, the pass to Carter. Ingles against Porter. Pass to Suggs. Can't get it to drop. Excellent D there from Caldwell Pope. Porter, the pass to Murray. From deep three-point land. And it's Orlando with a rebound. They host the Hawks after this one. That'll be the first of two games on their home court. Isaac for three. 
And that's not going to go. Boy, the determination on defense is pretty impressive for Murray. Really doing his best to pester the shooters. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Magic out in front, up by three. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Howdy, folks. I know you've all been clamoring to find out how the Rookie of the Year race is looking, and we are not letting you down. I love what I'm seeing from Holmgren. He has uh, sort of an effortless way of taking over. The game just comes naturally to him. Yeah, he stood out, man. I'm telling you, he's got to be excited about his future, these teams. This guy is unbelievable. And turning back now to talk about the Orlando Magic. What a close game this has been. This is why coaches tell their guys, always be ready. We're going to need you. Be ready. And you don't always know which games it'll be. But tonight, they needed scoring from their reserves. Good job, guys. It's kept them in the game, but I think they'll have to ride their stars down the stretch. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Really an incredible game from Jamal Murray. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. On the perimeter, KCP and Porter Jr. Gordon and Jokic, the combo inside. And it's Murray in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And, you know, Isaac is a versatile player now. He scores in a lot of ways. Can't allow him to get too comfortable. Murray against Fultz. Pass to Gordon. Over Ben Carroll. Gordon can't hit. And here are the Magic now. Leading by five. And it's slammed in by Carter. Really easy to appreciate Isaac. I mean, a solid teammate who's always ready to share the sugar. The Nuggets shooting a solid 47%. Now Jokic. Murray with it. Good. Eight buckets in 12 attempts. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is. That's a tough shot. Kicks it out to Isaac. Outside Fultz. Over Murray. And again, it's Orlando converting. Excellent execution coming out of the break. They've taken three shots and made three shots. Pass to Jokic. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Here's Gordon. The three sinks it from distance. Gordon's got ten points. You know, when Gordon is hitting this all the time, the defense will have to play up on him. Consistency is the key. Fultz against Murray. Fultz a screen on Gordon. Isaac outside. Clock at six. Outside Fultz. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. He's got seven. Well, it's been a great start for this offense here in the second half. Four for four. And it's Murray with the ball for Denver. They trail by seven. Gordon outside. From outside the arc. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got three assists now in this one. 
Good, solid start to the half. Hitting three out of four. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Murray against Fultz. Pass to Carter. Takes the three. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got four rebounds in the game. Caldwell Pope finds Murray. Back to Caldwell Pope. Who poked away. Here's Gordon. And he's 6 for 12 after that one. Now Fultz. Seven points in the game. Isaac outside. And Carroll against Gordon. And Carroll in the post. Good work defensively by Gordon. The free throw drops from Murray. On the floor, Murray is electrifying. I mean, he delivers relentless effort, and it keeps his whole squad energized and engaged. Denver has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, Michael Porter Jr. never lacks for confidence in his jump shot, but he said offense for me should be an autopilot. I should be focused on the intangibles, the defense, the rebounding, the dirty work. That involves you in a game. Brian, the buy-in and the commitment to the little things has not gone unnoticed. Yeah, I love that. That's a great point. Thanks, Ali. Fultz can't get it to go. And it's the Nuggets ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Caldwell Pope's shot is off. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Pass to Carter. And stolen by Jokic. And he's going for the oop here. And stolen by Ben Carroll. And it's Fultz off the drive. Carter, the pass to Isaac. Porter with the steal. To the inside. Here's Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. And the Magic call time here. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And Orlando has possession. Here's Suggs. He's got 11. Yes, Paolo Bancaro for two. A promising sign of things to come with Bancaro. Clearly somebody you've got to be excited about. Murray passes to Jokic. Stolen by Carter. Isaac in the post. He's guarded by Porter. And a quick look at the 2K leaderboard showing which teams have really been controlling the glass over the last month. Second, the Magic. And last month, this team was active on the glass. Really put forth an effort to box out and track down misses. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good from Isaac. And he can't hit the second. Could have taken the lead there, but instead, they're going to have to settle for the top. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent. 
And that's always important in a close game. Well, I love the way he goes after it there. I mean, and you've got to respect that. He's rewarded for his efforts of pursuing the ball. Fultz finds Ben Carroll. Back to Fultz. Pass to Ben Carroll. Shot clock at six. The Magic need to put one up here. Isaac for three. And no good. Great D that time from Porter. ACL injuries are always a scary thing in this league park. It sidelined Jamal Murray for a full 18 months. So tough for a player to lose that kind of time, B.A., but Murray really is a tough guy. And he focused on his recovery and was able to make a strong return to the court. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter and it stifled him. Browns checked in for Michael Porter. Here's Brown. Isaac covering. Outside Murray. Six on the shot clock. Jokic with a screen on Fultz. Murray from outside. Orlando grabs the miss. Isaac's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to Fultz. And Carroll outside. Back to Fultz. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Fultz has got seven points here in the quarter. The Nuggets have gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Outside, Caldwell Pope. On the wing, Murray. All sorts of time. He squares up and sinks it. Murray's got 21. Well, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Orlando's gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. Now here's Fultz. Nine points in the game. On the wing, Suggs. For the lead. Knocks down the long J. Suggs has got 14. You know, it's not his greatest strength. He's got a lot of different things that he's good at. But Suggs will hit the three if you give it to him. Shot is good by Gordon. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. Orlando trailing here. Outside Fultz. On the wing, Suggs. Let's it go from deep. That one falls. Nice assist by Fultz. Fultz has got six assists here tonight. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Outside, Caldwell Pope takes a three. Here's Brown. Isaac covering for three. Gordon sinks the tray. Gordon's got 15 points here in the second half. He's starting to pick it up from downtown. Made just one in the first half, but he's drained three more since. Orlando has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. And Carroll with a screen on Caldwell Pope. He kicks it out to Isaac. Launches it. Jokic grabs the board. The Nuggets shooting it at 52%. For three, Gordon. It's rebounded by Ben Carroll. Ben Carroll's got rebound number eight now. Murray against Fultz. Isaac outside. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. After being so smart with the ball in the first half, he's gotten a bit careless. A different look for Denver. Najee comes in for Jokic. And Chanchar subbed in for Gordon. Wagner's checked in for Orlando. Ingles comes in for Bancaro. Here's Murray. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Here's Suggs. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. And so Murray will bring it up for the Nuggets. It's a one-point game. And a miss there on the triple. Since hitting two triples in the first half, he's been non-existent from out there. 
Pass to Isaac. Here's Suggs. Back to Isaac. And he makes it on the layup. Isaac's got 16 points now. Boy, good vision that time from Suggs on this play. Finding the most ready shooter and fed him nicely. And here's Denver. To the paint. Here's Chanchar. It's hauled in by Isaac. Isaac's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Outside Fultz. Pass to Wagner. That one falls. Nice assist by Fultz. Now it's a three-point Orlando lead. For a young player, I like the way Fultz sees the floor. He knows and feels when a guy is open. The Nuggets shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. Murray passes to Naji. Here's Brown. The three. The rebound by Ingles. Isaac outside. Walker on the wing. There's Fultz with a three. Great D that time from Murray. Here's Brown, defended by Wagner. Murray passes to Chanchar. 4-3. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Wagner's got four rebounds now. Now here's Fultz. He's closely guarded. The kick out to Ingles. Let's the three fly. Pure from three-point range. Ingles has got his second basket of the night. And with his height, the defense unable to impact the shot on the closeout. The Nuggets trail. Outside, Caldwell Pope. 105 left to play in the third quarter. Pass to Chanchar to halt the run. Rebounded by Suggs. Orlando has got four of eight attempts to fall from deep here in the third quarter. Outside Fultz. Now Isaac. Here's Suggs. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. Back to Isaac. And the dunk by Isaac. And, you know, Isaac is a high percentage shooter. Takes good shots and makes a good percentage of them. And he's very skilled at getting position to throw it down on you. Outside Murray. Pass to Chanchar. The three ball. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Chanchar's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Ingles passes to Suggs. Isaac outside. Ingles from outside. And again, it's Orlando with a three. Throughout the second half, they've achieved excellent efficiency on the offensive end. Yeah, they're in a nice zone right now, and that basket looks, you know, it can handle two balls at once. It looks like now it could probably, for them, handle three or four balls at once as well as they're shooting. Fires the three. And so it's Orlando up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up back after this. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. 
And for the Nuggets, they're shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Fourth quarter, on the court for the Magic. In the backcourt, it's Anthony and Suggs. Mo Wagner is out there with Paolo Bancaro. And it's Ingles in at the three. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Orlando. Their offensive game plan has been simple. Look to shoot it often from outside the arc. And the results have been outstanding. And they've also been ferocious inside, really taking advantage in the painted area and making good on those chances. And the first one at the line is good. And so he hits both. Here's Suggs. Wagner with a screen. Pass to Ben Carroll. Jackson against Anthony. Ingles from outside. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. To the middle. Watson passes to Brown. Here's Watson. And it's good. Two points. Watson's got his first basket. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind a layup. Come on now. My goodness. Here's Suggs. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Suggs doing a nice job being aggressive. They're challenging defenders and getting rewarded with the call. falls that one falls so he hits both of them and for the Nuggets, they're shooting a solid 47%. Pass to Najee. Jackson outside. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Here's Najee. Clock at six. Jackson outside. Puts up a three. Here's Jokic. Second chance effort. Rebound by the Magic. Suggs has got four rebounds in the game. Bogner, the pass to Ingles. Van Caro outside. Three-pointer, Anthony. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. The Nuggets have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. A nice shot by Watson. And defensively, how do you leave them that open in crunch time? Orlando has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Wagner with a screen. It's Suggs with a drive. Ingles from outside. Drills it from deep. And the Magic lead by six. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Here's Watson. Pass to Brown. Here's Najee. Launches a three. It's rebounded by Wagner. Wagner's got his fifth rebound in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. 
First free throw is good. The Nuggets making a switch here. Caldwell Pope's checked in. And a change for the Magic. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Ingles. And that's good as he hits both shots. Denver has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Pass to Jackson. Now Jokic. Here's Brown. From outside, off the mark. And here's Anthony. He'll bring it up for the Magic. Outside Carter. Back to Anthony. Outside Carter. Shot clock at six. Uneasy two on the layup. Rustling feathers inside. Carter Jr. getting to the bucket one way or another. Not to be denied. Now a timeout called by Denver. Harris has checked in for Orlando. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Denver's coach was going over with his team. He questioned his team's effort, asking them, should I put in the bench right now? Wake up, guys. We can still win this game, but I need you all to play like you believe you can. Not exactly a fun huddle to listen in on, guys. And Allie, thank you for that. For Denver, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Jackson against Anthony. Pass to Brown. Looking to end the run. And another miss by Denver. Magic shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Here's Harris. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And what you like about Gary Harris, you can depend on him to make good decisions and always bring that energy, Grant. Yeah, no doubt, B.A. I mean, he's all about the team. Willing to do whatever they ask of him can't have enough guys like that on your roster. Shoot two. The free throw drops for Harris and the NBA's TV deal expires after next season. What are you hearing about where things are headed, Grant? Well, B.A., the league seems focused on greater access for the fans, especially the cord cutters. So with more games on broadcast TV and possibly a streaming package as well. And Harris drops them both. I like the competitive juice of Gary Harris. He wants to win every game, and he plays for his team at a high level. Anthony against Jackson. Out left to the wing. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Jokic with a screen on Harris. Caldwell Pope. The pass to Jokic. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Jokic doing a nice job on the screen. Solidly set and rolls to the perfect spot for the score. Orlando's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Anthony against Jackson. And here's Ben Carroll. There's the drive. Down low. Here's Carter. And it's slammed in by Carter. That's a nice play by Paolo Ben Carroll. I mean, just has an excellent feel for the game. Jokic with a screen on Anthony. Shoots from 12. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got rebound number seven tonight. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. Anthony against Jackson. Ben Carroll passes to Anthony. It's good. And the Magic lead by 14. The closer the better for Anthony, as is the case for most guys. He just wants to drop that one in. For Denver, they've gotten just three of nine shots to go in. Struggling this fourth quarter. Pass to Jokic. Over Carter. Oh, 
he's a load inside. Jokic finishing strong. Strong performance from him. But he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Anthony against Jackson. Wagner left side. There's the triple. Rebound by the Nuggets. Here's Brown. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Gary Harris. That free throw no good for the Nuggets. Gordon, he's checked in for Najee. And Jamal Murray is subbed in for Jackson. And no good on the second free throw. So 0 for 2 there. Harris with it. Caldwell Pope covering. Wagner for 3. And it's Denver with a rebound. Murray's got 6 rebounds in the game. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. Wagner with a steal. Anthony against Murray. Anthony outside. Over to the left wing. The three is up. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic just got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Caldwell Pope. The pass to Gordon. Now Murray. He's guarded by Anthony. Back to Gordon. Harris against Caldwell Pope. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one on Ben Carroll. Nice job grinding through and earning the whistle. Caldwell Pope felt it coming and just pushed through it. He makes a first. Kentavious Caldwell Pope, his defensive quickness sets him apart. Michael Porter, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Magic have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Pass to Suggs. Inside, Van Carroll. Oh, Van Carroll throws it down. Yeah, a reliable way to create for others. Suggs disrupts the coverage with the play and makes the pass. And it's Murray with the ball for the Nuggets. Down by 12. Jokic the screen. Murray finds Jokic. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. Down to five on the shot clock. They kick it out to Murray. And the call will be against Jonathan Isaac. That's his first foul. Porter against Isaac. On the wing, Murray. Six to shoot. Jokic with a screen on Fultz. Here's Murray. And Fultz is serious about his defense now. Always doing his best to get right into the grill of whoever he's guarding. Ben Caro outside. The three from Suggs. Kept alive by Orlando. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Here's Gordon. No good there. Oh, nice D from Fultz. The Magic have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Outside Carter. Pass to Ben Carroll. Carter, a screen on Porter. Ben Carroll drives. 
Soft touch off the glass. Bancaro's got four points now in the quarter. Bancaro's showing he can run the offense too now. Nice score off the pick as the ball handle. Denver has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. On the wing, Murray, hounded by Fultz. Outside Porter, from the arc. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got six assists now in the game. For Orlando, they've gotten six of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. And Caro outside. Carter, a screen on Gordon. Van Carroll against Gordon. Van Carroll passes to Carter. Here's Fultz. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Outside Murray. Jokic with a screen on Fultz. Murray for three. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got nine rebounds now. Here's Suggs, right wing. Gordon with a steal. And the Nuggets shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. Pass to Jokic. Outside Murray. Over to the wing. Here's Jokic. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. Suggs, no good. Well, the Nuggets shooting 44%, a pretty decent clip. And here's Murray. Pass to Jokic. Isaac with the steal. Caldwell Pope against Fultz. Isaac with it. Pulls it. That one falls. Nice assist by Fultz. Fultz has got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. To the middle. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. Impressive seeing Jokic go off like this. I mean, you can tell his teammates are being energized by what he's doing. The Magic have gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. Fultz against Murray. Fultz passes to Ben Carroll. Denver grabs the miss. 1.41 left to play in the fourth quarter. Jokic finds Murray. Back to Jokic. Now here's Porter. Gordon with it. Pass to Jokic. Now Porter. The three. It's hauled in by Isaac. Outside Fultz. Down low. And it's Isaac with the basket on the assist by Fultz. Isaac's got 22. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Magic. I think it was their play in the paint that got them the win tonight. And the defense seemed powerless to stop them down low, resulting in plenty of high percentage shots for them. And this will push their total wins for the year up to 11. And they obviously learned a thing or two in the first game of this season series. They play with a purpose tonight and even things up at 1-1 against Denver. Man, you have to recognize what a night it was for Jonathan Isaac. Well, I can't recall a play that he wasn't involved in. He was so involved in so many plays tonight. A force on both ends. The free throw drops for Jokic. Orlando leading. Here's Suggs. 51 seconds left in the fourth. 
And yep, it's good. And the Magic lead by 11. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. And so Murray will bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. Caldwell Pope, a screen on Fultz. Murray from outside. Orlando grabs the miss. Now Fultz. Pass to Suggs. On the wing, Isaac. From downtown. Sends it home from three-point land. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something. I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. So it's the Magic winning this one easily. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Markel, the assist numbers for you. Jumping off the page. Talk about your effort to get everyone involved. Uh, I just try to make the right play every time I'm on the floor, you know, like Coach said, you know, if I see two on me, I'm going to try to get hit the open man, and um, we were just moving the ball today. I think that's a focus that everybody has, and I think we showed a little bit of today, and we, were, we just want to keep building. The ball movement was outstanding. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. As we present our New Balance player of the game, Jonathan Isaac.